everyone and welcome back to Organize Joy. Today we're heading into episode 4 of my web series where I give you tips, tricks and ideas to help you be more organized in life from A to Z. We're also heading at the moment into autumn here in Johannesburg. It's pretty chilly outside. You can see I'm sure all the leaves blowing behind me. But what we're going to talk about today is anniversaries. All those people's anniversaries that you care about. Okay, so on to anniversaries. It's really, really important to acknowledge special days in people's lives. You know how it feels when you hear happy anniversary on your wedding anniversary. It's also really special when someone has passed away that is important to you and somebody remembers that day. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you remember all these days for all the people that you care about in life. We're going to go back to that list that we created in episode one. Remember the list that had all the most important people in your life? Now, if you haven't seen episode one, please don't stress. There's a link to it below and you can go and watch it. But if you did see episode one, get your list out because we're going to start to use it. All you need to do is create one message that you send to a whole lot of people or all the people that you care about, all the people that are on that list. What I would do is I would use WhatsApp type in a message, hey, I'm looking to update my details, what's your wedding anniversary? And then you click forward, select all the people that you want, and you send it out. People will start returning them pretty quickly. Once you start to get everybody's messages back, you go to your list and add in all the dates into the anniversary column. Then go to your electronic diary and start adding them as all day events in your diary. Remember to make it a recurring event so that it keeps coming up. Every year you'll be reminded of it. And then if you're worried that you'll forget about them, put a reminder on. So either an hour before to remind you to send your WhatsApp, or if you want to do something a little bit more special, make the reminder 24 hours before. You can write them a lovely card. There's nothing better than receiving a card from somebody, whether it's by hand or in the post. So don't forget to go and check out all the gift ideas on my Pinterest board. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so that you can see the next episode that's coming up. But thanks very much for joining me on Organized Joy, organizing your life from A to Z.